Hey everybody, my name is Chris and I'm a tutor here at Chegg.com. I mostly do math and a little bit of computer science. And in this video, we're going to do an example of finding the gradient and finding divergence and curl. So here, first let's find the uh, gradient. So we want to find, this is pronounced grad f, if f of xyz is 2x squared y squared plus yz minus x. Okay, so here, what is this uh, upside down triangle here? Well, that is the del or nabla operator, and it's a vector differential operator. And what it is, is basically it's the partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, and partial derivative with respect to z. Because we have a function of three variables here, if we had a function of only two variables, then we would cap it right here and forget about that but we have to have all three components because we have a function of three variables. So how do we apply this then? Well, the gradient of f is going to be basically the partial derivative of f with respect to x in the first uh, component there, and then the partial of f with respect to y in the second, and the partial of f with respect to z in the third. So basically, finding the gradient just comes down to finding the three partial derivatives here. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we take the partial of this with respect to x, what do we get? Well, remember, when we do that, we want to treat y and z as constants. So if we take the partial derivative of this first term with respect to x, treat y as a constant, then what we get is 4xy squared. Okay. Because we can think of 2 and uh, 2 is a constant, we can think of y squared as a constant. So we have the constant 2y squared multiplied by x squared, okay? And then when we take a derivative, this constant term just stays as it is. And if we take the derivative of x squared, we get 2x. So 2y squared times 2x gives us 4xy squared. Okay. And we're not done yet, so uh, what about the der partial derivative of this with respect to x? That's just 0, because it's y times z. That's just a constant as far as uh, the partial derivative with respect to x is concerned. And then here we're subtracting x, so we have a minus 1. Okay. Now in the second component, we take the partial derivative of f with respect to y, and here we're going to get pretty much the same thing we had, but now uh, we're looking at y instead of x. So now x squared is our constant, along with 2. And then we're going to get 4x squared y. All right, and then if we take the partial derivative of this with respect to y, we treat z as a constant, y is just y. So when we take the partial derivative of that with respect to y, we get z. And then x has nothing to do with y over here, so that just uh, is 0 when we take the derivative with respect to y. And then finally, in the third component, take the partial, der partial derivative of f with respect to z for all this stuff here. Well, this one's just going to give us 0 because there's no z there. This one just gives us y. And this one gives us 0 because there's no z there. Okay. So this right here is the gradient of f. All right. So now let's go ahead and move on to divergence and curl. So we want to find the divergence of this vector f and the curl of this vector f if the vector f is x squared plus y squared, comma, y squared plus z squared, comma, x squared plus z squared. So what are divergent and curl? Well, we can actually define them in terms of this uh, same differential operator over here. So we're still going to use the same differential operator. And the divergence is actually going to be the vector differential operator and then the dot product of that with f. So remember, the vector differential operator is this. So if we take the dot product of this with our vector f, and remember, the dot product is, is a scalar. So what we're actually going to get is uh, if we call let's go ahead and call this p, and we'll call this q, and we'll call this r. What we're actually going to get is the partial derivative of p with respect to x plus the partial derivative of q with respect to y plus the partial derivative of r with respect to z. Okay, because let me actually go ahead and write that out uh, in more detail. So del or nabla dot with f is going to be del del x comma del del y comma del del z dotted with, uh, in our case, well, p, q, and r, we'll say. 
All right, so then when we do the dot product here, uh, that's why we actually get the partial derivative of p with respect to x plus the partial derivative of q with respect to y plus the partial of r with respect to z. Okay, now for this specific example, what do we have? For our specific example, we have uh, the divergence of f is this dot product here. And since we have the partial of p with respect to x, in our case, what's the partial of this with respect to x? It's just going to be 2x. Okay, And we're going to add the partial of q with respect to y. The partial of this with respect to y is just 2y. And then we're going to add the partial of r with respect to z. The partial of this with respect to z is just 2z. All right? And that's actually our final answer for the divergence. We can't really simplify. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could factor out a 2 multiply by the quantity of x plus y plus z, but there's really no need to do that uh, since all, we're, all we want to do here is state the divergence. So here's the divergence, 2x plus 2y plus 2z. That is the divergence of f. Now what about the curl? So let's go ahead and go to a new page. So in general, let's define the curl in general. So the curl of a vector f in general is going to be the del or nabla operator uh, cross product with the vector f. Okay, So we're going to do this in general again. So i, j, and k, where i, j, and k represent the unit normal vectors in the x, y, and z directions, uh, respectively. So del del x, del del y, del del z. So what we're doing here is we're thinking of the cross product as the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, which uh, is Sometimes it's pretty helpful to see how to calculate the cross product if you don't remember the formula off the top of your head. So here's P, Q, and R from the general F. Okay, so remember we have the vector differential operator, del del x, oops, del del y, and del del z. And then F is P, Q, and R. Okay, so remember this cross product here. We think of it as the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Then what we would have is the partial of R with respect to Y minus the partial of Q with respect to Z. That goes in the uh, X direction component. And then in the Y direction component, we have the partial of P with respect to Z minus the partial of r with respect to x. And then finally in the z component we have the partial of q with respect to x minus the partial of p with respect to y. Squeeze that in there. Okay, so in our specific case what do we have? Well in our specific case let's go ahead and write, uh, rewrite our vector over here. So x squared plus y squared, y squared plus z squared, x squared plus z squared. So in our specific case, we have f equals x squared plus y squared, y squared plus z squared, oops, and x squared plus z squared. OK, so here is p, here is q, and here is r. So in our case, the curl. The curl of f is going to be ry minus qz in the first component. Well, what's ry? It's 0, because r does not involve y at all. Uh, what's qz? Well, q is y squared plus z squared. So the partial of q with respect to z is 2z, because we have the z squared here. And remember, we treat y as a constant, so y squared is a constant. So when we take the derivative with respect to z, this becomes 0. So then we have 0 minus uh, 2z. And then in the second component, we have partial of p with respect to z, which we see is just 0. Uh, and we subtract the partial of r with respect to x, which is going to be 2x. And in the third component, we have partial of q with respect to x minus partial of p with respect to y. Partial of q with respect to x we see is just 0. The partial of p with respect to y is 2y. So 0 minus 2y there. And then we simplify and we get minus 2z, minus 2x, minus 2y. Let's go ahead and make that a little more readable. So minus 2z, minus 2x, minus 2y. 
And that's pretty much our final answer. Okay, so that is the curl of the vector f. And this has been an example of finding gradient, divergence, and curl. And I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.